your fundamental metaphysical presuppositions. Metaphysical presupposition, they're suppositions that are metaphysical. See, man? It's, it's, it's not difficult. You just, I'll be seeking plain English. Whatever. <clears throat> Reality at large. You were a Christian. The basic fundamental categories of what constituted reality were heaven, hell, and earth. Heaven, hell, and earth. It can be as simple as that. You can even divide those into more categories if you like. You don't necessarily have to. It doesn't have to be complicated. Some people can't believe it if it's not complicated. That's funny. Anyway, um, <clears throat> that's reality at large. It's the ground of being. It's the ground of being. Okay, it forms the stage upon which everything else is going to take place. Reality in context. Okay, this is the epistemology. What can we know in context of that which we say is real? What can we know in context of that which we say is real? All right, so for the Christian example, in heaven you'd have God and angels, uh, in hell you'd have demons and the devil, on earth you'd have man and woman. And to kind of sprinkle a little extra complexity here, because we're going to be talking about ancestors. Also, in heaven and hell, you have those who have passed on. The goodies go to heaven and the baddies go to hell. Right? This is what can be known in context of what you believe is real. All right, so you got the epistemology and the ontology. Ontology? What is reality at large? Epistemology, excuse me. What is reality in context? But now, the third one, you get to the methodology. You get to how these things work. You get to the question of, well, what does this have to do with me? How do I fit in? All right, and this is what they do. They give you a cosmic narrative, an original saga of reality, right? With Christianity. They tell you about God creating the heavens and Lucifer falling from heaven. Uh, God creating the Garden of Eden, putting Adam in there and he fucks up. God uh, incarnating as his son on earth to die for your sin. To become the way. So that you can follow his example and then he rises and fucks off to heaven again. But all that's the past. They also give you the future in Revelations. Not only did Jesus leave, rose to heaven, but the nigga coming back. He's coming back. He gonna have the horses, the swords, the trumpets, the fire, the brimstone, and shit gonna turn up. Rapture, right? You got the past and the future. With the past and the future, you can conceptualize a now. You can conceptualize a now. And from there, you can cultivate your sense of self, your day-to-day -day life. See, your day-to-day -day life is framed in all of those components. Some people want to skip just to, oh man, let me, how do I change the day-to-day -day life? Well, what you got in the pot, player? What elements are you using to frame it? I don't really know. Fair play. Fair play. It's somewhere to start. 